Hello, everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. All right, Graveyard Talkers. Well, here we are once again at Metairie Cemetery in New Orleans, Metairie, Louisiana, just outside New Orleans, not very far, a couple of miles. And uh, easier to come to these cemeteries than it is to go to the ones in New Orleans. One, because of the tourists, the humongous amount of tourists that are down there. And two, they have made it a tourist trap down there where you have to pay to go into uh, the, the, the local cemeteries down there, like uh, St. Louis Number 1. And I ain't going to pay. I'm going to pay my respects, but I'm not going to pay people to guide me around when I don't need to guide me. Plus, I don't think they'd let me do this in there. So, uh, according to... Find a grave. There's 57,000 souls here. And I'm sure there's a whole lot more than that here. Uh, probably the most famous uh, person here is uh, the Southern President Jefferson Davis. He's buried here. We're going to go over there after this one. And uh, there's a bunch of Confederate soldiers that are buried in there with him. And I thought maybe we'd set up in front and uh, do a little session in front there. But we're in the back of the cemetery here. And uh, this is a typical uh, family crypt, mausoleum here, however you want to put it. And, um, you know, if you know anything, multiple people generally go in here. How it's done is kind of unique for New Orleans. But if there's multiple people in here, uh, the first person in there has to be in here about a year or so for their uh, body to decompose. And then if someone else is going in here, they open it up and scrape your bones to the back. It falls down a little chute underneath. And then they put the next person in. And then a year or so goes by. If there's another person going in, they do the same thing. So some of these here, you will find seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve people in. This one here doesn't look like very many. Maybe one or two in this one, one or two in that one, maybe one or two in that one. Um, I haven't really read them. One, maybe two in this one. Two in the bottom one. So with that, we'll start a session here. Topa, now. We'll start a session here. There's a bunch of animals back here. And so Topa is having a little fit. Sit. All right, so hopefully back here what's nice and quiet. We'll get a nice good session in. We had, I think we had a pretty good session the other day when I was here, back when it was raining. So just to let all the souls in this part of the, all the spirits in this part of the cemetery know, and before, like I said, when I say souls or people, I'm really talking about spirits. And... Uh, And I might, I might use, I might use those names interchangeably, but it really does mean spirits. My name is Randy. My dog's name is Topa, and we're here in peace and out of respect to hear your story on what you might have to tell us. So I'm um, looks like Ellerman Dufour. So this must be the Ellerman. Cemetery plot. I don't know if it says on it. It does. H. Ellerman. So maybe they would like to talk to us. But in my hand, I have a speaker, which is an electronic device. Um, some of you may know what that is. My other hand, I have a telephone. Some of you know what a telephone is. Well, modern day telephone now are really small. And we hold them in our hands. And unlike keeping them in the house in the old days, we take them with us everywhere. Um, so if you'd like to talk to me, you certainly can talk to me through the phone, which will then go through the speaker. 
which then I will hear you. So if anybody's here, oh, and one other thing is in a minute, I will ask um, if you'd like to give me a number, 1 through 20. And I have a piece of paper here on that paper, 1 through 20. I have questions, and I will ask you a question off of that. So if anyone here would like to speak to us now, uh, now I'm going to turn on the spirit box and we can get started. All right, well, first thing I heard was one, and I think I heard 27. Well, those, I'm not ready for you to give me numbers yet, and I don't have a 27, one through 18. But first of all, if anybody want to tell me their name and who they are, maybe someone in the uh, Ellerman, uh, Ellerman uh, uh, family uh, mausoleum here. I heard a Michael. Michael. I don't know if there's a Michael here. I don't see a. I see a Henry and a Charles. I don't see a Michael though. Uh, it might be on one of the other stones that are pretty well, pretty well banged up. All right, so I heard I'm Mike. Mike, would you like to talk to me? And and, and could you tell me where you're at? All right, so Mike, you want a toy? So I'm going to assume, Mike, you must be a child. All right, so now the same voice is coming through, and I think he said four. Seven. Okay. So, Mike, you're seven. Well, Mike, can you see me here? Do you know where I am? Okay, I heard no. So there is one particular voice that is coming through that I can hear. But we know it's Mike, we know it's a little boy, and we know he's seven. There's Mike again. Mike, I can hear you, buddy. Where are where are you at? What are you doing? Are you close to me? Am I close to you? You want to guide me to where you're at? Rosemary. I heard Rosemary in there. Rosemary, can you help me? Okay, and I did hear same voice again across from you. So there isn't anything right across from me, but there is a, uh, some plots kind of sort of to my left, um, forward and to my left. Are you, are you over there where I'm looking right now, Mike? You. Okay, now this is it's really, really weird. I'm hearing the same voice over and over again. It's getting lower, but I still can hear it. Mike, can you see my dog Topa? Oh, sure. You can. Yeah. 
Mike, if you'd like to visit me, I'd like to visit you, but I need to know where you are at. Can you help me? All right, so in all the times that I've been doing this, and you know, guys, it hasn't been that very long. Uh, I've never had the same voice come through time and time again. So I know Michael's a child from what, he's, what, what it sounds like. Even the voice sounds childish. He wanted to play. Uh, he says he can see me, but I don't know where he would be. I can't see. I can't see very many names on the headstones here. Mike, can you tell me how long you have been here? And if I could come and find where you're at, I'd let Topa come over there and play with you, but I don't really know where you're at, Mike. I know you want to play. I heard something about bring and walk. Bring and walk, so I'm assuming it's a walk, a little bit of a walk. I can't exactly walk over there, Mike. Um, I could if I knew where exactly where you were at, but you can give me some idea what's next to you, what's by you. Michael, can you tell me, can you tell me? How long you have been a spirit? Okay, sound like somebody come in and said he's just a little boy. And I do understand that. Are you telling me that he doesn't understand what has happened to him? No. Well, Michael, you said you wanted to play. What what do you do around here? How do you play? Okay, uh, Michael's, Michael's uh, voice it seems to have faded out just a little bit. It was a little kind of interesting. Young man, seven, maybe eight, because I heard eight in there as well. Maybe eight, he wants to play. He would like me to come over, walk towards him. So I'm assuming he's over this way. Um, I will, uh, after we get done with this session, I'll take a walk over there. And I'll look and see what I can find. Do it again. Right. Same voice. Do it again. What would you like me to do again, Michael? I think Are you over there in the area that I'm pointing at now? Yep. Okay, so stay. Come here. All right, so I got somebody walking by, not paying much attention, has her dogs with her. So we'll be cutting this part out.
All right, so I don't know how much of that I'll cut out, but young lady walking her dogs. She didn't see me, and that's why she came up on me. Sit. Let me get Topa sit back down. She sees the other dog, so she's on alert. All right, sorry about that, uh, Michael. I know you're in the area where the lady is by the dogs. The lady has the dogs over there. Are you uh, close to where she's at right now? Yes. Okay. So I will take a walk over there when we get done with this. Would that be okay? And then if, if um, I can find you, then you can play with my dog if you'd like. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll do that when we get done with here. We'll walk over there. Then if I find Michael over there, um, I'll show you his grave. And I'll insert it here someplace. You know, you know what they say on YouTube? Up here, I'll insert it up here. It's down below, you know. Uh, I'll insert it somewhere in here. Um, and Michael, can you give me your last name? Mike? <laughs> Well, Mike would be his first name. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be Michael. Can Mike? All right, Mike. Uh, it might have said Dewitt, Mike. But like I said, it's the same voice coming through all the time, and I've never had that happen before. Um, so that's strange, at least to me, because usually even when I hear the same person who I think is the same person. It can come through if it's a male, it generally comes through in a male voice. If it's a female, it generally comes through in a female voice. But this is the first time that I've had the same voice continually. Mike, I'll see you in a few minutes. Is that okay, buddy? That's okay. All right. So, Mike, you stand by. You just hang tight there for a minute, buddy, and we'll come over there. We'll take a look for you, see if we can find you. And then uh, hopefully we can. And uh, so does anyone else here, is there anyone else here who would like to say anything before we go to a question that I have? You know, I think well, well, I just... very quiet all right so and i find out sometimes that the spirits tend to be very respectful when you hone in on one individual that um um they tend to be a little bit on the quiet side which we have now okay for all the spirits here i have a questions i have 20 questions here one through 20 and um, I will ask you those questions if you would like. I ask you a question if you would like. All you have to do is uh, tell me what number, 1 through 20, you would like me to read to you. All right, let's try it again. Michael, I heard that you, you popped in there, but unfortunately someone jumped on. Uh, came on top of you and I didn't hear it. Number one through 20, what number would you like me to question? Would you like me to read? All right, sounded like I heard 14. 14, 14. Does 14 sound good? So I'm going to read question number 14. Is everybody okay with that? Ten. Everything. All right. Very solid. I heard ten. And yep. So we're going to read question number ten then. All right. Let me get my trusty rain-soaked piece of paper out here. All right, interesting question. 
I know there have been other spirit box talkers here. When spirit box talkers come here and they talk to you, does it wear you out? Does it make you tired? And if it makes you tired, how long do you need to rest before you're not tired again? Do you enjoy it when there are people that come to talk to you that you don't know? No. No. Mean. You think it's mean when they come and talk to you? Had to. No. All right, we'll have to listen to that. So I think what I'm going to do here, we'll cut her short here. We're probably at about, uh, looks like about 22 minutes. Very interesting talking to Michael. I'm going to put my gear away and I'm going to go over there with my phone and see if I can't find Michael's phone, or Michael's headstone, where Michael's buried. And if I do, I'll turn the uh, camera back on. So I wanted to say again, if you come here for me, you came here to this channel for the wrong reason. Graveyard talking isn't Randy talking. Graveyard talking is the graveyard talking. These people talking, Mike, wherever little Michael is, out there. I, I believe he's out there. And I'm going to go try and find him. And um, so it's not about what, what I have to say. It's what they have to say. And hopefully that's the reason you come here. So if you like what I'm doing, if uh, you like the content, please consider giving it a thumbs up, commenting down below, and subscribing to the channel because it would really greatly help me get more uh, subscribers and do better and so I can go to, uh, to more places. So appreciate you being here. Appreciate you watching. And we'll see you on the next one. All right, just a quick update. I walked all around the area over there where... Little Michael said he was. I didn't find him. I found no children over there at all. Um, I can't switch this around. Let me turn it around. But that's the area he's, he was talking about. That he said um, that he was in. But unless he's in one of the big uh, mausoleums back there. I couldn't find him, so I apologize to Michael for not being able to find him. But I'm going to still drive around that area before I go to my next uh, session. I thought I'd just update you.